our brain has evolved to discard information that it thinks has no relevance. You know, if you think of like, what is education? Like you're basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain. And it's, it's, it's actually amazingly bad in conventional education. Cause like, it shouldn't be like this huge chore. So I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. You're self-taught? Yeah. Well, well self-taught, yes, meaning um, I, didn't, I don't have an aerospace degree. So how, how did you go about acquiring the knowledge? Well, uh, I, like I said, I read a lot of books, talked to a lot of people, and, and have a great team. It's important to teach, uh, teach problem solving, or teach to the problem, not to the tools. Mm -hmm. So this would be like, let's say um, you're trying to teach people about uh, how engines work, or, mm -hmm. you know, you could start by a, tr more, a more traditional approach would be to say, well, we're going to teach you all about screwdrivers and wrenches, and and you, you're going to have a course on screwdrivers, a course on wrenches, and all these things. And it's mm. this is a very difficult way to, to do it. A much mm. better way would be like, here's the engine. Now mm. let's take it apart. How are we going to take it apart? Oh, you need a screwdriver. That's what the screwdriver is for. You need a wrench. That's what the wrench is for. Mm -hmm. um, and then a very important thing happens, which is that the relevance of the tools becomes apparent. You don't need college to learn, it, learn stuff, okay? Everything is available basically for free. Uh, you can learn anything you want for free. It is not a question of learning. Um, there, there is a value that colleges have, which is like, you know, seeing whether somebody's, is, can somebody work hard at something, including a bunch of sort of annoying homework assignments and still do their homework assignments. Uh, and, and kind of soldier through and, and, and get it done. You know, that's that's like the, the main value of college. And then also, you, you know, if you, you, if you probably want to hang around with a bunch of people your own age for a while instead of going right into the workforce. Um, so I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. Generally, you want education to be like as close to a video game as possible like a good video game. Like, you do not need to tell your kid to play video games. They will play video games on autopilot all day. <laughs> so if you can make it interactive and engaging, uh, then, then you can make education far more compelling and, and far easier to do. So you really want to um, disconnect the whole grade level th thing from the, the subjects. Allow people to progress at the fastest pace that they can or are interested in in each subject. Um, it seems like a really obvious thing. Um, I mean, I think like most teaching today is, is a lot like vaudeville, where, um, and, and, it's, and, and as a result, it's just not, not that compelling. It's like somebody st standing up there and, and lecturing to you, and they've done the same lecture several years in a row. They're not necessarily all that engaged or, or in, in doing it. You know, if you think of like, what is education? Like you're basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain. And it's, it's, it's actually amazingly bad in conventional education. Cause like, it shouldn't be like this huge chore. Like the more you can gamify the uh, process of learning, the better. Like I, for my kids, I do not have to encourage them to play video games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have to like pry them from their hands, yeah. like, like yeah. crack. Yes, and yes. Like drop that crack needle. Um, in fact, I think a lot of things people learn are probably there's no point in, in learning them. Um, because they, they never use them in, in the future. Well, you have to say, like, people, I think, don't stand back and say, well, why are, are we teaching people these things? And we should tell them probably why we're teaching yeah. these things. Because a lot of kids are just in, in school kind of puzzled as to why yeah. they're there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think if you can explain the why of things, then that makes a huge difference to people's motivation. Yeah. Then they understand, they understand purpose. Yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty important. Uh, and just make, make it entertaining. But I think just in general, like conventional education should be massively overhauled. I'm sure you very much agree with that. But. Well, people do not think critically enough. I mean, there's critical thinking is a skill in short supply where people, you should, people take too many things as, they assume too many things to be true without sufficient basis in, 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 in that belief. Um, so um, it's very important that people closely analyze what, what is supposed to be true and, and, and try to build up Try to say let's let's analyze things from first principles, not by not not by analogy or not by convention. Um, if you if you assume things are true by convention, which is actually what most people do, um, then it's difficult to gain insight into what how things can be bettered. Um, so, you know, in any argument or, or any sort of train of thinking, 
um, you want to make sure that your the underlying premises are valid and applicable and um, and uh, you know and and then in reaching a conclusion that the conclusion you're reaching is necessarily driven by the underlying premises and the interconnection between those premises. That may seem like a really simple thing to say, but most people don't do that. Um, I think so. It's really the foundation of rational thought. I think there's maybe a, um, there's definitely some good schools out there, um, but I think the some of the, the mistakes, at least in my opinion, that I see being made in education is um, that um, people. The, the, the teachers do not explain why kids are being taught a subject. Um, you know, you just sort of get dumped into math and like, well, why are you learning math? What's the point of this? It seems like some, you know, for some people like maybe it's, a, I don't know why I'm being asked to do these strange problems. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the, the why of things is extremely important. Um, because, you know, our brain has evolved to not, to discard information that it thinks is has no relevance. So then, if on the one hand you uh, you're being asked to memorize or learn, uh, say formulas, um, but you do not know why this is the case, then you have this cognitive dissonance of it seems irrelevant, but I'm being told to remember it, so I'll be punished. <laughs> <laughs> so so I better remember it. But so the why of things is very important, and then uh, being able to and and then. <clears throat> Picking kind of a, a problem and then uh, using various educational tools to solve that problem, um, like using math or physics or economics to, to solve that problem, is far more engaging um, than teaching the tools. A university education is often unnecessary. Um, that, that's not to say it's unnecessary for, for all people, but um, I, I think you probably learn about as much, or, or the vast majority of what you're going to learn there in the first two years, and most of it is from your classmates. Now, now for a lot of companies, they, 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 they do want to see the completion of the degree, because they're looking for um, someone who's going to persevere and see it through to the end, and, and that's actually what, what, what's important to them. So it really depends on, on what somebody's goal is. If the goal is to start a company, I would say no point in finishing uh, college. Um, so I think that's how it should be. And it shouldn't be that you've got like these grades where people move in lockstep. Um, and so everyone goes through, you know, goes like normally, you know, will go through English, math, uh, science and so forth from like fifth grade to sixth grade to seventh grade, like it's an assembly line. Uh, but, but people are not objects on an assembly line. That's a ridiculous notion.